Liverpool to Portsmouth, yeah, that chorus got the crowd screaming. Alrighty folks, welcome to another what I bought and what I sold on eBay video. Um, I'm just going to run through a few things I found at thrift shops and flea markets and so forth this week. Um, I went to a couple of different thrift shops this week. Um, how many did I go to? Three I think. And I went to a markets on Sunday. So I'll just run through and show you what I found and um, what I think the potential value is. We'll start with the little to no value. It's a little Olympus camera. Works fine, except you can probably see there if I press the... how do I play? Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, you can see the dead spot on the screen there when I hold it up against the the, the wall there. Um, Oh, sorry, put it in focus. Yeah, there you go. It's a dead spot there. No idea when I um, I took some photos and played them back on the computer and there's no issue with the photos at all. It's just the screen, so... Anyway, that's what it is. I'll probably just re-donate that. Um, I'm just going to drop everything in. I've got a box on the floor here. I'm just going to drop everything in. Okay. This shirt here... Don't know whether it's got any value, but I, I just thought it was really cool. It was a dollar clearance, but as you can see, it's a HSV Holden Racing Team T-shirt. And I'll just polish it actually. On that sleeve, it's got scafe, and on that t sleeve, it's got lounge. So lounge with number one, scafe with number two. I would believe, yeah. So that's, that's cool. I mean, I don't think it's got any value. I'll try. See if it's got any value. It's a shame it didn't fit me. It's only a medium. I'm in an XL, so nowhere near me. So anyway, um, I'll look into the value of that. This one I thought was really cool. It's a Cavalier shirt. Number 23, LeBron James. Adidas, obviously. It's a very little wear. It's um, NBA Authentics. And it's got the big number 23 and James on the back for LeBron. Cavs, I have no idea what it's worth. I paid $6 for that. It's Mark 7, but I bought two things there and she gave me a dollar off each, so I'll show you the other thing later. So that was very cool. Should be a little bit of profit in that. This one here was one whole dollar. It's a Queensland State of Origin um, shirt. Absolutely faultless. I don't know whether it's ever been worn. It's that good. Um, it is authentic. And it's made by Canterbury. And if you see that there, it is a 3XL, which always seems to sell better the bigger the size, the better they sell. So that was very cool. Okay, I think I said that was a dollar. This shirt here, I'm not sure on, but it's a button-up jet pilot shirt. I paid five for this. It's got the jet pilot embroidery there. Sorry for the noise. That's my puppy dogs. Picking himself. But check out the back of it. I hope that comes through on camera, but that's all embroidered. It's got a big jet pilot across the top there. Logo, spanners, premium quality, built tough. It's just a very, very cool shirt. And I know jet pilot stuff has value. Just got to get the right buyer for it. It's also got embroidery on the sleeve. I really hope that's coming through all right. Very cool. Anyway, should be some value there. I hope so. Cost me five, like I said, so we'll see how we go. This one was a one dollar because everything with a blue tag at the salvos was one dollar. So, it's just a little Canada shirt. It's like a athletic type material. It's got the maple leaves on the sleeves. Little Canadian flag on the back. It's in really, really good condition. 
so I don't know whether there's any value. If that had been $4, I would have left it there, but because it was a buck, it was worth a shot. So we'll see how that one goes. This next one I paid up for, I paid five for this. I think, sorry about the dodgy camera work there. But I think it's unique enough that somebody will want that. It's a Chrysler shirt, that's the front of it. It's got nothing on the back, it's just got the Chrysler Super 225 engine on the front there. The Chrysler Corporation. I just think that's unique enough that somebody will pay for that. I'm hoping they'll get sort of 20 to 25 for it. Moving on. This one's another one that I probably would have left on the shelf, only it was a dollar. And I thought it was very cool. It was in the men's shirt section, but I don't know whether a bloke could wear that or not. It says we can do it, obviously. And then in the front here it says um, classic World War II poster featuring Rosie the Riveter. Um, War Production Coordinating Committee. So that's just very cool vintage look shirt. Um, for a dollar I reckon. I reckon I'll get 20 for that. We'll see, hey. More State of Origin stuff. These are Queensland shorts made by Canterbury, as you can see. These are like new condition. I don't know that they've ever been worn either. It's just fluff on there. But um, very cool. These I paid $2 for. So I don't know what they're worth, but it will be more than two bucks. These globe shorts I actually bought for myself, but they're too big. So, 38s, I'm probably a 36, I would say. They're just too loose on me. But they're really nicely made. Even got the globe on the thingy there. Yeah, so I will be trying to resell those. I paid $3 for them. Next, I paid 20 bucks for for this at the markets. It's an Olympus Tough camera. It has um, 2 meter drop resistant and 12 meter water resistant. Comes with the charger. Comes with this little floaty thing that clips on here so if you drop it in the water it floats. Um, it's in really good working condition. There are a few marks around it. I don't know if you can see them on the front there but yeah, there's a scratch there and a scratch over here. Not deep, just cosmetic stuff but I'm going to keep that for myself because I'm going on a holiday in about four weeks time and that'll be cool so yeah keeping that one next one I think this is going to be the score of the whole week it's in I mean not for me not my thing but um, it's a New South, New South Wales um, State of Origin jersey, it's got the VB logo there, the NIB logo on the sleeves and then it's got Real Beer of the Blues on the back so, and it's you know these State of Origin all this stuff's embroidered, it's a genuine um, genuine deal, official series gear so yeah, genuine supporter gear that's really nice um, I paid $2.50 for that at the thrift shop. It's just got the date it was put on the shelf. But the particular thrift shop, all clothing is $2.50 each. So that was a sweet score. I should be able to turn that into 40 bucks. This thing here, I, know whether, I, I didn't know anything about these until I looked them up at the time. So it was marked at $40 and then 15 it's a bit grungy, needs a clean up, and it needs testing. Um, I'll be testing it later on today. Because was that come from the Lifeline store, and they said if it doesn't work, you've got a week to return it. So it's got all the original books and CD and stuff in there, all the bits and pieces. So have a look at what these go for, guys. Second hand, um, quick look. I saw some that had sold for 95 bucks. So um, hopefully, if I can get anything above 50, that'd be pretty cool. Turn 15 into 50, I'll take that every day. Oh, I can't get that done up. 
Alright, next we have this, which I paid $4 for, that was the other thing I bought from that thrift shop where she knocked a dollar off each for me. So, um, it's a Denny Holm Formula One Monaco Jigsaw Puzzle, 1000 piece jigsaw puzzle, and it's in a tin box, and it's sealed, still in its wrapper. So there you go, Denny Holm, um, OBE, 1000 piece collector's jigsaw puzzle. Yeah. Um, had a quick look, I should be able to get, there's none on eBay, there's one at um, an online puzzle shop and they've got $30 plus $10 I think delivery on it so if I can get around that mark I'll be stoked. Alrighty, next we have Billy Connolly um, DVD set, five bucks. I'm actually going to watch it myself first because it's used anyway. So four DVDs in there. I've seen the American one, the Route 66 one, before. So five bucks. I don't know what it's worth. I haven't looked it up yet, but it's gonna be worth more than five. And I'll get five dollars value out of watching it myself. Alrighty. Next, these little guys cost me a dollar at the Salvation Army. And they're vacuum cleaner bags. I've never sold vacuum cleaner bags before. I know nothing about them, only that I see other resellers selling them and they seem to make decent cash out of them. So, this one here only has two in there. So, listed as a bag of two, not four, as it says. Uh, I've got my receipt for those. I don't want to see that. And then there's another one there. And these ones. Ah, there's a whole series of models. They suit cost a dollar it says five of them but there's actually four in there so again worth a shot for a dollar I reckon we'll see how we go what that receipt say this was this was this morning actually so the two vacuum cleaner bags <coughs> bags um, yellow two dollar I don't know orange six dollar one dollar that was a, a flannel hoodie that my son wanted so he got that for a dollar now i can't remember what else i got there um oh yeah the state of origin shorts were two dollars the pink was the other shorts that i wanted to keep for myself and the green for two bucks no idea i can't remember anyway um all right i'll shortly come back with a um what sold this week a video Actually, I'll, I'll take it on to the end of this one, we'll do it like we did last week. Um, yep, alright, cool, back soon. Alrighty, so this is what we've sold in the last seven days. Um, it's been a bit poor this week, to be honest. But look, I only sell for <clears throat> to entertain myself, you know, a bit of pocket money, like I've said before. So I'm not making a living out of this. Um, so, yeah, anyway, we'll run through what we've, what we've sold. Um, this is an old um, iMac, 2008 model. I had it listed for $100. Um, somebody sent me an offer for 50 and I took it. I've got no money in that. Um, and you probably saw on my, yeah, you did see on my sold video last week, I sold the keyboard and mouse for that for $110 plus postage and I paid seven. So yeah, and, and this year, like, it's 11 years old. So there's no money left in that anyway, so I'm happy to take 50 there. Um, next, I think I mentioned this in the last one too, these Learn to Dance or videos or anything like that. Like I said, I don't buy movies unless it's something outstanding because they just don't sell box sets and oddball things like this. They sell. I got $30 plus eight fifty five shipping on top for that fella, and that didn't take long to sell at all. Um... This one here was that Oppo phone that this is the second time I've listed it because the first time was a non-paying bidder. I put it at auction starting at $10 and this thing's pretty beat up. The screen, you can see, it's all smashed there. It's smashed up the top here, right there. And then you can see on the corner, it's, um, it's beat up on the corner as well and the back of it uh, can't really 
you'll see it. I mean, you can see there's a ding there. It's got a few dings over on this side. I don't know whether the camera's going to pick it up there. But over here you've got dings there. So it's a pretty beat up old thing, but um, had 17 bids. I think there was about uh, five different bidders and they bid it up to $46. I think, because the person who bought it did actually ask a few questions about the phone. Um, or whether the, the digitizer was smashed or it was just the screen or you know just old ball questions like that so I'm thinking the person that bought it is probably going to repair it like they've got some sort of repair resale shop so that's cool I paid five dollars for that at the flea market so that's pretty cool um, yeah somebody's throw away this thing here this was that I showed you in the last video the um, Sydney Brewster's um, Captain America, I believe. Yeah, Captain America NRL replica jersey. Um, paid one dollar for that at the flea market. And I listed it, and it took eight minutes to sell at thirty dollars plus eight fifty five shipping. So clearly, that was way too cheap. But one dollar into thirty, I'll take that every day. All right, next. These fellas here, I paid two dollars for these at um, a thrift shop. Now you probably see it down here. It's got some staining there. I think it's from the glue or something, and it's also got some on the front of one of the shoes. Let's see if I can get it in a photo. This screen on this computer is crap, by the way. This is my son's school computer that he used for twelve years, and then. I decided to buy it off him. Works really well, but the screen's just crap. But anyway, it's, they've got a few marks and stuff. They're, they're not brilliant, but they're not bad either. And that sold. Although sold for $28. Not showing right here. $28 plus $11.80 shipping on top. Very happy with that. And yeah, I'll, I'll put that there. Try and find another pair of these, because you just can't. I, um, I couldn't find another pair like it, I couldn't, yeah, anyway, and I also disclose there, very little wear but are a little stained, nothing serious though, please check pictures carefully as they are sold as is, and it was a good size too, it was a size 11 US, which is my shoe size, and I really, really wanted to keep these, but I didn't want to look like a dick, so I sold them. Um, this other one here I thought was pretty cool. It took a while to sell this, and I didn't. You know, I thought it'd go really quick because it's uh, any Harley stuff. If you find it, it goes good. Um, paid two dollars fifty for this. It's Gold Coast Chapter Harley Owners Group. So, yeah, very cool shirt. And that sold for twenty six dollars, including shipping. So it's going to cost me seven fifty five to ship that. So. Uh, well, it did cost me seven fifty five because I've already shipped it. Um, yeah, what else was I going to say? It's, as you can see, it's genuine Harley. Um, oh, that's what I was going to say. It sold to someone in Canberra of all places, so it wasn't even going back to the Gold Coast. But in the description, I said there a bit sun sun faded. Called it patina. Graphics are all good. No rips, no holes, no tears, etc. So. Uh, I disclosed it down here, I'll skip again, and I said the shirt's a bit sun faded, run in. Um, yeah, not sure of its age, but it has that retro, cool retro vintage Harley Davidson look. Like I said before in previous videos, it's all about <clears throat> how you do your description, like list as much stuff in there that can sell it, um, you know, sell it for you, stuff that people are looking for. So. Yeah, so that was pretty cool. So look, not a hell of a lot um, of sales, but there'd be a you know hundred dollars of clear profit at least for me. Um, yeah. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you got something from it. Um, I'll be back next week with another one. Cheers.